Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plaxus uh, 3D Shallow Foundation course from theory to practice. This is uh, lesson 46. In this tutorial, we are going to model and simulate a full uh, scale 5 stories building and considering uh, soil structure interaction using Plaxus uh, 3D. As you can see in uh, this uh, figure, our uh, example is going to be uh, like uh, this. We will have uh, a large uh, soil geometry and it uh, contains of a single uh, soil layer. Also, we will have excavation two meters uh, from uh, ground level. And also we will have the different uh, structural elements like mud foundation, uh, basement walls, also beams, columns and uh, slabs. I wanted to uh, show you uh, a simple uh, AutoCAD drawing, uh, how is uh, our uh, model going to be. So I will uh, open this AutoCAD file. So our uh, uh, structure uh, will be a column beam structure and uh, the dimension of the structure is uh, 20 meters by 20 meters. We have a number of columns and the center to center uh, spacing between columns is uh, 4.75 so we have uh, the same uh, thing in other direction so our uh, example is going to be like this one and uh, also we have columns and also we have beams uh, so the column uh, cross section is 0 0.5 meter by 0 0.5 meter and the beam uh, cross section is uh, 40 centimeter by 60 centimeter also we have the concrete slab which is 18 uh, centimeter uh, thick so uh, the example is going to be uh, like uh, this one this is uh, just a simple uh, drawing i'm sorry for any uh, uh, drawbacks of uh, this uh, drawing so I just wanted to uh, give uh, an idea about uh, the geometry and uh, structure of this uh, problem so uh, as you see if we have the ground level like this one uh, first of all we will have the excavation uh, two meters so we will have the excavation two meters and after that we will have the raft foundation which is one meter uh, thick and also we will have one uh, concrete uh, or basement wall which is uh, 0 0.25 uh, centimeter sorry meter uh, thick and uh, along uh, the all the structure so it like a uh, tie uh, around the structures also we have uh, the surface load on the uh, slab which is uh, 5 uh, kilonewton per uh, square meter Actually, we uh, I just uh, assumed uh, these uh, dimensions uh, and cross sections of this structure, so it is not a real uh, structure actually. So if you have a real uh, structure, so you have to uh, enter or input your uh, real data. So uh, this is just uh, an assumed structure dimensions and cross sections and uh, loads as well. Uh, also, uh, I just uh, draw uh, or modeled uh, this uh, simple uh, drawing by uh, Revit Architecture. As you can see, our example will be like this one. If uh, this uh, ground, we will have a two meter excavation. We will have the basement walls like this one, and we will have the mud foundation, and we have columns, uh, beams, and uh, uh, slabs. If I click on level one if this one is a, a vertical cross section so this one is a cross section as you can see we have the if uh, this one is a natural ground level we have the mud foundation we have the basement walls also the uh, the height of the first uh, story is uh, five uh, meters as you can see in uh, this autocad file from the bottom of the mud foundation to the top of the slab the other uh, stories are uh, 3.2 meters as you can see in uh, this uh, figure 
Okay, this is just a simple uh, drawing, so I hope it is uh, clear what we are going to model in Plaxis. Also, uh, the material. Okay, we save uh, the project again. Uh, I think it's okay now. We can uh, start the calculation and we will see if we have uh, any uh, mistake or error or warning. So we click on uh, calculate, ignore feedback and calculate. Okay, uh, as we can see, the calculation is finished and we don't have any uh, error or mistake or any problem. It's okay, so we can uh, again save uh, the project and we can uh, go to uh, view results. Okay, as we can see, this is the last uh, step or the last, uh, the uh, fourth floor. We can see the maximum uh, displacement. We have a 0 0.026 uh, meter, which is about 2.5 uh, centimeter, and which is acceptable in a case of uh, a mud foundation. So if I uh, hide the surface lot, we can see uh, this is a deformed shape of uh, the problem 
actually it is not a real scale it, it is uh, scaled up 200 times uh, larger than the uh, true scale and uh, we can click on deformation click on total deformation we, if I select it on uh, foundation we can see after uh, construction of the foundation and basement walls we have uh, about uh, seven uh, millimeter uh, settlement and after uh, that when we construct the ground floor beams column slabs we have about uh, one centimeter and after that we can see the uh, settlement is uh, increased as you can see in here so in the second floor it was about two centimeter or less than two centimeters and in the third it was about 2.2 centimeters and in the last uh, step the displacement is about 0 0.026 uh, meters so we can uh, also check uh, the displacement or maybe we can uh, take a cross section vertical cross section like this one so we click on here we can see like this one if we uh, select the foundation and click on here we can see how the displacement is changed and the settlement is increased by constructing uh, each floor okay we can uh, make also uh, the animation i'll show you later and uh, also we can uh, check the forces in uh, mud foundation and the basement wall so we click on here double click on mud foundation and we can see this is a deformed uh, this uh, displacement and maximum displacement happened at the center of the mud foundation we can also check uh, the forces in the mud foundation and as you can see in here also we can uh, check uh, the forces in basement walls for example if i click on uh, select the structure and double click on the walls we can uh, check the moment also in the wall and uh, shear force and axial force as well also we can uh, check uh, the moment or uh, forces in the slabs as well so if I double click on for example on this slab we can check the forces also at the slabs as well and uh, this uh, shows us how uh, Plax is a powerful program and uh, can estimate or calculate the moment and forces in uh, structures like uh, uh, slabs, beams and uh, columns uh, also for example if I select one uh, column for example in here we can also check the forces the shear force okay so uh, uh, the, no, uh, the other uh, thing I want to mention in uh, this example uh, for example if I click on uh, deformation deformed shape we can see this uh, deformed shape at uh, the last uh, step if I uh, select the initial phase in here we can see in the initial phase uh, we should not have any deformed shape because we will not have any load after the initial phase we have the excavation so as you can see in excavation if you can uh, see we have the upward displacement or it's called uh, the heave 
uh, of uh, the soil we can see it is about uh, 0.012 uh, it is about 1.2 centimeters upward uh, settlement or upward uh, displacement actually this is one of the uh, drawbacks of the mohor column uh, model because uh, this uh, heave is overestimated in uh, mohor column this one uh, for real uh, soil data real uh, soil model like uh, hardening soil model uh, this one will be uh, uh, more smaller maybe uh, two to five times more uh, smaller or lower uh, value uh, this one uh, happens because i want to show you in here if you can see in uh, this uh, figure this is uh, the mohor column model the mohor column model uh, has one elasticity which is e50 so in the mohor column the unloading reloading elasticity is assumed uh, to be the same as uh, the e50 so which is not uh, correct in uh, real uh, life or real uh, soil data because if you can see this is uh, the uh, real soil have higher uh, unloading reloading uh, modulus for example we can see in here the unloading reloading uh, modulus is much higher than uh, the e50 of the soil and uh, it is approximately two to five uh, uh, times higher than the e50 and that's why uh, do not worry about this uh, upward displacement in excavation while you are using the mohor column uh, model uh, so if you try to use uh, the hardening soil model uh, you, you will get uh, the heave uh, displacement uh, less than uh, this value okay we can also uh, create a we can also create uh, animation so i can click on file and create animation we can uh, select anywhere to save this animation for example i click on desktop maybe i write animation save and also i don't want the initial and the excavation phase and i click ok so uh, the animation will be uh, created okay as we can see the animation was uh, created and we can see in here you can uh, create animation like uh, this one if you don't want to uh, if you don't want this legend be appeared in the animation when you uh, click on a uh, file create animation you can uh, i think uncheck this uh, uh, boxes okay uh, guys uh, this was uh, for uh, this example i hope it was clear uh, thank you for watching see you in the next lesson